Okay, hi everyone. This video, we are going to go through the corrections for the topical review that you have done in term 1 on additions and subtractions. Make sure to have your pencil ready and you will be doing the corrections for all the questions that you have gotten wrong. Okay, we will not go through this in class so that we can save some time to go through other things in a class. So please do the corrections. Now make sure your corrections are not just writing the answers, but also show the workings as I show them here. Have your pencils ready. We are going to go through starting from question number one. So we are going to subtract nine. All right, we're going to subtract 368 from 9009. So the bigger digits, 9009, we're going to subtract away 368. All right, so when we take 9 minus 8, we get a 1. Okay, now the problem is in the tens place, we can no longer subtract 0 from 6. So we will have to regroup from the neighbor. Over here, we get an 8. So here we get a 10. Now with a 10, we are going to regroup this 10 one more time into a 9 so that we will have a 10 over here. So now there we have it. 10 minus 6 is actually equals to 4. 9 minus 3 is 6 and you are left with 8. So the answer for this is 8, 6, 4, 1. So the answer is 3. So if you see, when I regroup, I regroup them so neatly so that you are able to subtract correctly as well. Okay, now question number two, this is a part, part, whole. You have got a part, all right, sorry, you have got a whole. You want to minus a part and you get another part. So remember your number bonds, this is almost like your number bond. You have a part that you're not sure. You have 1, 5, 2, 4, but when it adds up, the two of them will give you 3,000. So what we need to find in order to find one of the part is to actually subtract. So we're going to take 3,000. We're going to subtract away 1,524 in order to find what is the other part. So what we do, we cannot take 0 minus 4, so we're going to subtract, we're going to regroup from here, we're going to get a 10. Alright, so we're going to regroup the 10 to get a 9, so that we have a 10 here, and then we're going to take away a regroup again, so that we can have a 10 here. Okay, so what is 10 minus 6 is equal, 10 minus 4 is equal to 6. So there we have the next one. 9 minus 2 is 7. 9 minus 5 is 4. 2 minus 1 is 1. So we have 1, 4, 7, 6 as the answer for question number 2. Okay. Now, if you think I'm going too fast, you can pause the video to do the subtraction carefully. Now, question number 3. The sum. So we look at the sum, we are looking at addition. We are going to take the sum of these two numbers. And I'm sure there's some regrouping to do as well. So 9 plus 6 is 15. So we have a 1 here. 1 plus 7 is 8. 8 plus 5 is 13. And uh, 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 plus 2 is 7. So the answer, 7, 3, 8, 5. This is for option number 4. Okay, now question number 4 can be quite challenging. Uh, but if you actually use a place value, right? remember in place value we have, in primary 2 we have our HTO, right? Now 50 tens, 50 tens would be 50 tens in the tens place. But remember, in primary 2, we said that we cannot have two digits in the same place. So one of it has to go 
out to be regrouped. So actually, 50 tenths is the same as 500. Okay, so that is the meaning of that. Now, what about 40 hundreds? Now, 40 hundreds is the same idea. 40 hundreds would mean we have 40 in the hundreds place. But again, because we cannot have two digits in the same place, so the 4 has to go out. Okay, regrouped to 4, 0, 0, 0. So 40 hundreds is the same as 4,000. Alright, so now I read the question one more time. The difference between 500 and 4,000. So we are trying to find the difference, which is to minus. So 4,000 minus 500. Okay, so 0 minus 0 gives you a 0. 0 minus 0 again is a 0. Here we try to regroup. 10 minus 5 is a 5. And we have here 3,500. So the answer is 2. Again, remember, if you need to pause the video to understand, please do so. Okay, question number 5. Question number 5 is a subtraction. Another word is differences. So we have 6,000. We would like to minus away 954. So 0 cannot minus 5, 4. So we cannot, we have all the zeros here. We have no choice but to regroup from this. Okay, so this gives us a 10. Okay, but again, we need to regroup from the 10. We are going to take away. This is 9. This gives us a 10 now. That doesn't solve our problem yet. We will still want to regroup from the 10 to get a 10 here. Okay, so 10 minus 4 is 6. 9 minus 5 is 4. 9 minus 9 is 0. And 5 minus nothing is a 5. So this gives me the answer. 5, 0, 4, 6. Okay. Question number six, number born again. So you have got a hole here. You have a 4,000. So the question is asking one part of it. It's 538. What is the other part, which is here? All right, so for us to do that, we will need to... This is a part, this is a part, and this is a hole, right? So to find one part of it, we have to take the hole minus away the part. So that's 4,000 minus 538. So again, a lot of zeros huh, for subtraction. So what we're going to do is we're going to regroup from here. We get a 10. Okay, but that doesn't solve the problem. We are going to go on. We're going to keep going on. We're going to keep going on. And this is a 10. So you see how neat my regrouping is. Okay, so you cancel, you cancel them neatly so that your subtraction will not go wrong. Now, 10 minus 8 is 2. Okay, I move on to the 10th place. 9 minus 3 is 6. Now, I go on to the 100th place. 9 minus 5 is 4. And the last one, 3 minus nothing is 3. So the answer, 3, 4, 6, 2. Okay, now question number 7. So Sharon has $3,400. She, now who is this she? This she refers to Sharon. So let me replace this word with Sharon. Okay, so we have got two people here. We have got Sharon, we have got Mary. Now Sharon has $3,400. So we're going to draw a Sharon that has $3,400 inside. Now, Sharon has 325 more than Mary. So that means to say Sharon has got more than Mary. Right? Since Sharon has got more than Mary, we will draw a shorter bar for Mary. Now, but we do not know how exactly Mary has. The only thing that we know is Mary, all right, has 325 shorter. 
all right because sharon has strength of 35 more so we want to find out how much mary has okay since mary got shorter we will need to subtract so we're taking 3400 minus 325 okay because mary has got shorter so we're going to try to regroup again zero minus five we can't do that so we're going to regroup from here to give us a 10 here all right again not enough okay we need to solve the problem we regroup again this is 10. so let's zoom into the working 10 minus 5 is a 5 9 minus 2 is a 7 3 minus 3 is nothing 3 minus nothing is 3. so now we have it we know that mary has got three thousand and seventy five dollars okay so again more than less than we always want to use a model to show all right now at this point in time before i move on to section c you can tell that a lot of time my workings all right is everywhere so that's how a maths paper would look like full of workings full of messy messy notes all right a lot of work effort done to make sure that you know the answers are correct so i do not like it when i actually have got answers or papers or homework that is given to me with a lot of blank clean pages this is what i need if you take a look all right now the reason why i do not like such a paper is because such papers are so clean so this is not the way maths should be done. If you take a look compared to my, there's a lot of work done. So please make sure whenever you do your maths paper, I should not see a paper blank with only answers. All right, this kind of papers makes you happy, makes me happy, all right, to show that you have done a lot of hard work. Okay, so I'm going to move on to question Eight now again remember if you have missed out on some questions you can reverse rewind a video so that you can see what uh, are the questions you have missed out okay in case you didn't catch fast enough all right now question number eight three thousand two hundred and ten people watching a rugby match one thousand eight hundred and eight of them were adults and the rest were children so it looks like we have got adults all right which is 1808 this is adults now the rest were children do we know how much is the children we do not know right so this is a question mark we do not know how much is the children but we know that the children and the adults makes up a total of 3,210. So, question is asking how many fewer children than adults? Now, this sentence here, how many fewer children than adults, is actually the same as asking for what is the difference between adults and children. All right, now, first of all, we do not know how much, how many children there are. So the first step, we will need to find out exactly how many children are there first. So what do we do? We take the total, the whole, minus away the adults first. Now, when we do that, we'll be able to find out how many children there are. So let's do some workings at the side. All right, to subtract. We will have over here 10 minus 8 is 2. 0 minus 0 is 0. So we can't. We are going to regroup from here. 12 minus 8 is 4. 2 minus 1 is 1. So 1402 is the number of children that we have. Now again, that is not the answer. Okay, because they are asking for the difference between children and adults. So over here, adults is 1,808, children is 1,402. Now to find the difference, we are going to take the bigger number, the adults, minus away the children because we want to see what is the difference between the two of them. 
So this is our second step. This is a two-step word problem. Okay, now uh, you are going to find that in primary three, a lot of word problems are two steps. It's not just one step anymore. All right, eight minus four is four. One minus one is zero. So the answer is 406. So again, if you remember, we do not write the sentence anymore. We just put a hashtag to show that this is the final answer. So question eight, this is the meaning of question eight. Okay, now pause the video if you need to do this slowly. If not, I'm going to move on to question number nine. Now question number nine, this two person, Ali and Katy, save a total of 4150. So the two of them save a total of 24150. Now, Katy saved 2, 4, so I'm going to use one part of the model. This model, this part of it is Katy, 2943. Now, we do not know how much Ali saved, so I put a question mark here. So again, this is part, part, whole, right? This is a part, this is a part, and this is a whole. Now, to find one part of it, we're going to take the difference, okay? So we're going to take the whole, which is 4, 1, 5, 0, we're going to minus one part of it in order to find the answer for the other part. So I'm going to do the workings at the side again. It is the 2 minus. Alright, so we're going to subtract. This is 10 minus 3 is 7. 4 minus 4 is 0. Okay, 1 minus 9, I can't do that. So I'm going to regroup from the side. This is 11. 11 minus 9 it's 2 and 3 minus 2 is 1 so i have what is the other part 1 2 0 7 this is my final answer and my final answer with a dollar sign 1 2 0 7 okay remember we no longer need to write english sentence anymore but make sure the units the dollar sign is int okay that's for question number nine okay now again pause the video if you need to do your corrections if not i'm going to question number 10. now question number 10 says this tina has three two one nine now she i'm very curious who this she is this she actually means tina now, Tina has $245 more than Luke. Now, you see there's a model drawn for you at the bottom. My next question would be, who do you think should be longer? Is it Tina or is it Luke? Alright, now by now you should have an answer. Tina is the one who has more, right? Luke is the one that has lesser. Now, Tina has 245 more than. So, which would mean to say that Tina has more and more by a difference of 245. Okay, more than, less than, fewer than, all this refers to the difference, the extra. So, 245 more. Now, Tina has 3219. So where is Tina? This whole bar, including 245, refers to 3, 2, 1, 9. That is the whole of Tina. Right? Now, Tina has 3,219. 3, now, we do not know how much this portion is. Okay? But we know, but we know this portion here, and this portion here gives you a total of 3, 2, 1, 9. So how do we find a question mark? All right, it's a part, part, whole, right? We can take the total, 3, 2, 1, 9, minus 245 first to find the green part. So this is 3, 2, 1, 9, minus 245. So 9 minus 5 is 4. This is 1. 
is 11 minus 4 is 7. Okay, this is 11 now. 11 minus 2 is 9, and you have a 2. Now, 2, 9, 7, 4. Now, what is the meaning of 2, 9, 7, 4? That means this green part here is 2, 9, 7, 4. So you see, the green part we have found out, 2, 9, 7, 4, and the 2, 4, 5 will add up to give the total 3,219. That means Tina. Now, something that you will, not, you will notice, if Tina, that green part is 2, 9, 7, 4, it means that the one on top is also 2, 9, 7, 4. That means Lina has a total of 2, 9, 7, 4. Alright, now, this is not the end. Huh? We are going to read the question. How much money did the both of them have all together? So now that we know that Lina is 2, 9, 7, 4, Tina is how much? It's 3, 2, 1, 9. Because that's what we found out at the... That's what we already know from the story. We're going to find out all together, which means the two-step word problem again. This time round, we're going to add both girls together since we already know Lena. Alright, now 4 plus 9 is 13. 8. 1 plus 7 is 8. 8 plus 1 is 9. 9 plus 2 is 11. Okay, 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. 6, 1, 9, 3. This is the final answer. Remember, final answer with the dollar sign. Okay, so again, question number 10 uh, can be quite challenging, but with the model, you can see that you can solve it as well. Okay, with your highlighters, with your colors. Question number 10, two-step word problem again. Same, if you need to pause for your corrections, please do that. Okay, now I move on to the last question. Now, the last question is the most challenging of all because it involves three people. Okay, so let me move on to question 11, our last question. Okay, now we have got three people, Penny, William, and Fanny. So I'm going to put Penny as P, William as W, and we have a third person called Fanny. Okay. Now, Penny has 2,000 over stamps. So let's put the first bar as Penny first. 2,378. Now, once I put this number in, okay, I can actually make my model. All right. Let's draw the line down. Okay, let's draw the line down. Now, why am I drawing this line? Because, let me show you, uh, this color portion here is 2,378, right? Now, it will also mean that this portion here is also 2,378. It also means that this portion below here is also 2,378. Alright, now let's read on the story. William. Now we go on to the second person. Now William has 372 more stamps than Penny. So we have a second person called William. Now William not only has 2378, but he has got 372 more. Okay, so can you see why my model now looks like that? Because there's a 372 more stamps than Penny. Okay, now if that is 372, if I start drawing the line down, you also find that this also means 372. Right, now then you must be thinking, what is this extra portion here? By the way, now you have known that the last person is called Fanny, right? Now, let me read on the story. Okay, now, William has 372 more stamps than Penny, but... William has 1,000 fewer than Fanny. Now, if he has 1,000 fewer than Fanny, so doesn't that mean that this 
is 1067 because if William has got 1,000 fewer, that means Fanny must have 1,000 more, right? So that is how I have this portion here as 1,067. Now, to find Fanny, that means we want to know how many stems does Fanny have. We want to find the entire bar here. So we put a question mark here. We want to know how much Fanny have. Now, Fanny seems to be made out of three parts, right? Part, part, part. Whole. So the first part is 2378. Now the second part is 372. That is part and part. Now let's find out how much is this two part total first. So we add up this 2, 372. 8 plus 2 is a 10. Okay, so over here let me do a quick addition. Now I have 2750, but that's not the end. Huh? Now 2750, I will still need to add the last part. Where is the last part? The last part is here, right? Remember, Fanny is made out of three parts. Okay, so I've done the first two parts. I need to finally add the last part here, 1000 over. So with 2750, I'm now going to add this last part here which would give me 481 sorry did i add correctly this would be 3817 okay this is 3817 steps that's for fanny all right now we will go into three people comparison model very soon so this is a good learning for you if you still do not understand it's okay we will go into three people uh, comparison model very soon in our MSP okay now for now I will need all of you to write down not just the corrections okay pause if you need to do the corrections the rest of you all of you I will need you to write down your attendance code now remember the attendance code is a way to let me know that you have attended today's video lesson so you will need to write this down on a slip of paper that i asked you to staple in front of the paper okay if you cannot catch it you can pause the video in order to write down your attendance code everyone has a different code this will tell me that you attended the lesson by yourself and you didn't copy from your friend okay air code will change all the time so if we have a video lesson in the future the code will not be the same okay just take note so these are all the codes to your name find your name pause the video write down the code Okay, now with that, I'm going to end today's video lesson and I will see you back with this topical review, corrections done and back to school in a classroom. See you.